if you've been having a hard time getting your first few sales or your brand new print on demand Etsy store, not to worry, this video is for you. I'm going to share with you an unsaturated niche that can make you up to $5,000 a month. I hate to break it to you, but gone are the days where you can just upload a few listing ideas and get sales, especially in these categories that are more saturated, like the t-shirt, candle, jewelry niches. That's why it's very important for you to always understand where there's purchasing intent, meaning what are customers actively searching for on Etsy and buying. So I'm going to share with you the exact reverse engineering strategy that I use in order to find these new categories that might not have as much competition and where I can go in as a brand new seller and sell this product without having to come up with an idea that is extremely creative. So let's jump to my computer so I can show you exactly how to do that for yourself. The first step I like to take when trying to find new categories to sell on Etsy is as simple as going on Printify or Gelato or other print on demand supplier, briefly looking at their catalog to see if there's any new products that I might not have seen on Etsy. So by doing this, essentially, I'm always looking for products that I know I can sell for a higher profit margin. Obviously, stickers would not be part of that list because my prerequisite is ensuring that I'm going to make at least $10 or more of profit and that there is a higher perceived value with the product that I am selling. So something that I did see was the travel accessory niche. And so what I really like about this niche is that, well, first and foremost, um, there are suitcases, there is a photo key ring, et cetera. But what really caught my attention more particularly was these passport cover holders and luggage tag rectangles. So once I've identified some of these products that are grabbing my attention, what I'm going to do next is go on Etsy to get a sense as to whether or not there's a lot of sellers selling this item. Now, by going on Etsy and simply typing passport holder, I can see that there's quite a few options that are auto populating, which means that customers are actively looking for these gifts, such as passport holder personalized for women, luggage tag, leather, etc. So I'm going to do a quick search to get a sense as to what is currently selling. Now, the extensions that you will need are two parts. First, I recommend that you download Keywords Everywhere, which is a Chrome extension, which will tell you the search volume of a specific item. In this case, we can see that the search volume for Passport Older is as much as 27,000 searches per month. Now, the other extension that I recommend that you have is Etsy Hunt, and I'm going to include the link in the comment section and the description of this video. Because here, what I'm interested in seeing is how much sales a particular item has had in the last seven days. So we can see that there are a few sellers that are selling um, leather passport holder. It does seem that these sellers are making a lot of these passport holders on their own. However, I do find that there are opportunities for me to sell a print on demand passport holder. So I see that by doing a quick search here, there's really a healthy amount of search. A lot of these items are extremely popular and best sellers. So I know that there's opportunities for me to go into this marketplace and create something unique. Now, I also want to mention the fact that, as you can see, a lot of these items are actually personalized. Um, so this is an item that's personalized. It also includes the luggage tag, which is why they're selling it for a little bit more. So this is something that I could create a specific listing with, um, within my Etsy shop. And then every time I get a sell, I would have to fulfill it manually. But this is something that I could also create, creating a listing that includes the passport and the luggage tag. Um, and giving the option of my customers for my customers to be able to personalize it. 
Now, when it comes to pricing the specific item, it's important to note that without Printify Premium, you'd be paying $13.43 plus shipping, which is $6.29. It ships from worldwide. And you can only include um, printing in the front side. Now, obviously, in this case, having the Printify Premium will help you. However, by looking at what the competition is doing, they're selling it for $19. However, they are providing you with the ability to add on another product in order to charge more, including as well the back tag. So this is how they can charge more. Now, I know that this listing, they also are charging the shipping in the back end. So you definitely would want to create a listing that in which you're having your customer pay the shipping, which is $6.95, and then provide them with the ability to add on multiple passports or include the back tag as well so you can get higher profit margins. Now, it does seem that from looking at the competition that a lot of the sellers are selling these items for $19, but this is more reason for you to add as well a personalized element so you can sell the passport holder for $25 and above and provide them with the option to add on to their purchase, such as adding the back tag or other items that would go well with the passport. So this is how you can ensure that you have at least $10 profit margin and make sure in the back end that you make your customers pay for shipping as well. Now, the second step is for me to always back up the data that I've actually found on Etsy. And I do that by going on E-Rank, doing a quick search for passport holder, just to make sure that I'm right about the lack of competition. So we can see that as far as Etsy competition, it's still pretty untapped. So plenty of opportunities and the average click-through rate, which is this data right here, is rather high. 128% of individuals who go on Etsy looking for a passport holder will actually click on the listing. So I know that there's definitely opportunities in this niche. Additionally from that, I'm going to look at some of the other keywords that I might not have thought of to get a sense of where there's perhaps other opportunities. So passport holder family, rather healthy search here, 1,900 searches per month. And um, as you can see, the competition is rather low. So this could be an opportunity for me to create a multiple passport holder for an entire family. So instead of only providing two passport holder, which we've seen a lot of other Etsy sellers are doing, I could create a set of four for an entire family or three, et cetera, and providing them with the option to purchase as necessary. So the reason I really like going on E-Rank is that it's gonna give me additional data as to what the opportunities are within that niche that I might not have necessarily seen by simply being on Etsy. Okay, so another interesting keyword here is passport holder leather, uh, re rather healthy search, 3,600. So this is great. Now I have the data that I need to go back, grab some of these keywords such as uh, passport leather women and all this information in order to create my first listing within this category. Through my research, now I know that there's plenty of opportunities within this category. Now I have to come up with design ideas and also take into consideration the data that I found on E-Rank, which was family passport holder. So by doing a quick browse, we can see that there's designs of cities like New York City, um, maps, which is pretty obvious. We're also seeing customized passport. And I'm going to click on this, even though it does not have had a lot of sales in the last four days to kind of get a sense of potential other ideas. So in this case, I see that the seller is providing different design that the customer can pick. Um, and this is very unique to any of the other listings that I have seen. So it seems like cover only, cover with message. So it's providing the customer multiple 
designs um, with different options of customizing it or not. And then the customer gets to pick. So these are all the different designs that they're providing. So they're providing six different design that the customer can pick from. So I really like this and this is something I would want to create within my listing. Now I'm going to continue scrolling down to see if there's anything else that's more unique that I have not seen on Etsy before. So a lot of these passport holder have the same travel theme, it seems like, or simply a personalization element. Now let's look at this item. It's very different from anything else we've seen. Okay, so I really like this. It seems like they're taking the concept of an old map and then adding a personalization element. Um, they've had about four sales in the last seven days and a total sales of 416. So we can see that the last review they've had was December 19th. So it tells me that this is this design might not be as current or as popular. However, I like the concept and this is something that I might want to take into consideration when creating my design elements for my passport holder. Now here is a design that is rather popular. It's currently a bestseller and we can see it's in 20 people's carts, my adventure book, my adventure bag. So what I like about it is that the font is really popular. This kind of design is currently really popular. Um, so the passport holder in itself is $19 and um, let's see if they give the ability to customize. It doesn't seem like it's customizable. So you either have passport holder, two luggage tag, passport and tags. And then they have this uh, kind of fun little font, my adventure book, my adventure bag. And they've had 22 sales in the last seven days. So we know that this design is a potential and something where I could Obviously, I'd have to add my own creativity, my own creative element, but I know that this is doing particularly well. So I'm gonna add this to my brainstorming list when I try to come up with designs. Now, based on my research, I'm gonna create a design using Canva Pro in this case. I'm gonna write adventure awaits, I'm gonna include uh, perhaps a plane, or I can search for other elements as well um, that are part of my Canva Pro. Obviously, you have to make this design unique uh, for it to work. In this case, I'm only showcasing kind of the possibilities of what can be done. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this item as a PNG, transparent PNG. Now the next step will be for me to log in into my Printify, look for the passport cover and start designing it. Next, what I'll do is I will go ahead and add the design that I created on Canva. And then I'm gonna decide which different colors I want to make this available for my customers. Now, when coming up with a title and product description, it's important for me to stuff it with as many appropriate keywords as possible. These are keywords and tags that I have found while I was doing my research on E-Rank. So in this case, we're going to say travel, passport cover, wanderlust, passport gift. Um, this gift is not engraved, so passport cover. Um, for women, as we saw that this keyword is performing well on E-Rank and then passport cover leather. Um, it is full leather, so I'm gonna in include that as well. So I'm gonna also change this description around to ensure that I have as many keywords as possible um, that will help me rank as well. And those are gonna be the same keywords that I have in my title. So I will change this around to ensure that I include as many of these keywords. So meet the perfect traveling companion. So um, the perfect passport cover for a friend ready for their 
um, vacation, etc. So just to give you an idea, obviously I would have to change more of those sentences, but you want to make sure that you include as many different keywords as possible. The next thing you want to ensure is that the mock-up that you are including really showcases the product. In this case, I like this mock-up better. So this is gonna be the image that I'm gonna use front and center, and I'm gonna go ahead and publish my listing. Now, finally, I recommend that you create multiple mock-up of this new category. I recommend that you upload anywhere between 10 to 20 design ideas until you get your first sell and get data as to whether or not people are going on your listing or favoriting your listing. Now, you're going to have to try as well uploading personalized options. I would test personalized versus items that they can purchase right away. Obviously, when you're creating a personalized item on Printify, you'll have to go ahead and manually make that order as unfortunately Printify does not give you the ability to personalize the item after the fact. So every time you get a sell, you're gonna have to change the design in the back end, upload that item and go ahead and create the purchase to send it directly to your customer. All right, guys, well, that's it for today. Let me know if you've had any luck with this category and start getting sales. Let me know in the comment section. And as usual, make sure to follow for more tips like this.